hello 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 everyone welcome back to my beautiful channel divine and gifted i am shay how are you guys what's up okay so i don't know if some of you guys are feeling very guarded or protected or you feel or there is a need for you to guard and protect your energy at this time um i'm gonna let you know i tried to do a reading right before this but the kids kept interrupting the video and i just i just put all the cards back but um so listen whatever is going on right now that's trying to keep you in some type of distracted ass energy i don't know what that's about okay because you're in a pivotal of you're in a pivotal point in your journey right now to where you are i feel like you're transcending okay so <clears throat> Well, it's like, it's more so like you're coming, you're stepping into your power, okay? You're stepping into who you are. It's like you're healing a certain aspect of yourself and this is going to like catapult you into a new beginning. It's 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 quite beautiful, actually. So anyways, for those of you guys who are new, hello, welcome back to my channel, Divine and Gifted. I am Shay. And um, for those of you guys, um, don't forget to like, share, comment, hit the notification bell if you're here and um wants to know when i do upload but um yeah this is going to be a general reading it may or may not resonate with you it's going to be the next for the next 24 to 48 hours so please take this message how it resonates um if it's your message it's yours if it's not it's not okay some of you guys could be feeling annoyed because it's annoyed card is out it's just her rolling her eyes i didn't even know it was annoyance but she's rolling her eyes so some of you guys could be being annoyed right now i don't know we're gonna put that back because I don't want that. Okay, so spirit, can I get a? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be for the next twenty-four to forty. Oh yeah, twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Okay, can I get a, a overall energy for the collective, for the energy that is coming towards them that they're in that they just got out of for the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours? What's coming towards them? What they need to know? And then best advice, please and thank you. you guys need to burn some sage i'm hearing that very clear burn some sage so we have the choices card here why is this upside down so we have the choices card here you guys could be going through an um, ending or a cycle i remember the last reading i did was about a breakup or you guys are just leaving things that no longer serve you behind but this is um like i said this look at this this is even the balance you get what i'm saying your spirit guys could be trying to contact you connect with you in the subconscious world you guys could be doing a lot of overthinking here or just all in your heads because this person is in the clouds you guys could be um choosing a battle you guys could be facing uh, 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 who baby you guys could be facing odds like the odds can, you can feel like the odds are actually stacked against you but this is just a battle between the light and the dark the light and the dark side of you you get what i'm saying and this is i i i i i feel very strongly that this is going to be your intuition and your ego and your ego is trying to keep you stuck centered and stagnant in the situation and your intuition is trying to guide you in a new direction and looking towards the 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 head is looking towards the the white wing so this is letting me know that you're more so prone to listen to your intuition but in this time in this period of time you might be really sitting and soaking in your thoughts okay so with that being said let's get into it number 46 is a 10 and that is about endings you could be very tempted right now with this lust card the bottom of this says my dear one when the symbol of lust has come for you beware that when you toy with this energy you may become cus consumed by it there is a fine line there is a fine balance between desire that is pure and obsession that arises in the ins no, I don't think this is a message. Let's keep it kicking. So, um, I mean, it might be, but I just don't know. It said no. Okay. So we have choices. Okay. And before we even get into this card, what choices have you made? What decisions are you making that you need to stand more firm in your beliefs about? It says every choice you make has a consequence. Even your thoughts are like magnets drawing experiences to you for good or for the bad do you know the story of the winged immortal in the house of the night who had to choose between the dark and the light do you know what he chose right now you are faced with such a choice 
All you need to do is ask, is this for my highest good? The choice the choice you make will be an important step in your life lesson. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. What will it be? Choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you, okay? So, I am going to choose another card, actually. Choose another card to see what your choice will bring you, okay? Chaos. But you have hope at the bottom of the deck. You have hope at the bottom of the deck here. And this is you about keeping keeping your faith or not losing some type of hope. Okay. But anywho, so you have choices and then you have chaos. And I feel like this is what you're worried about. You're worried about things spiraling out of control, not really having control. It's something about control force here. Okay. Because... Sometimes chaos lead to a beautiful disaster. And I opened it up to reminder, and this is the actual message. So it says, sometimes I need to remind you of a lesson that you have already learned. So basically, based upon the choices or decisions or something that you're about to, you're about to make some type of choice or decision. And you've already went down this path, this cycle. You've already repeated this pattern. You could have repeated this pattern two two times. You could have repeated this pattern eight times. You could have repeated ten times. Eight times. And then we're at another 10. So you're about to either repeat a cycle. And like I said, this is a major, major lesson for some of you guys. Because just the energy that was here before, you had the hermit and you had the tower. The hermit and the tower and then you had the fool. The hermit, the tower, the fool, and then you had justice. The hermit, the tower, the fool, justice, and then you had the queen and king, the queen and of pentacles and the queen of cups. You get what I'm saying? So... There obviously is some type of major, major change here, but let's get into it. It says, when I provide you with a familiar situation, this is not the message yet. I'm going to get there. When I provide you with a familiar situation, will you choose the same path blindly or choose another direction? When you draw the symbol of reminder, you are being asked to remember all you have learned about life and love up until now. Don't forget what you know already as it is as it isn't necessary to learn something, the same thing twice. Then again, how else do you learn? Keep the faith and be good to yourself. You can always start again if you make a mistake. If you stumble, it will surely catch you. Remember what you know. And that spirit trying to remind you that do not choose, a, 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 do not make a choice that leads you down a path of chaos because you're holding on to some type of fear or you're letting your, because like, like I said, you are having a battle right now the, between the light and the dark. The light is your intuition. The dark is your ego. And what spirit is basically saying, don't allow yourself to be put in a situation to where, I don't know. Mm -mm. Don't allow yourself to be put in a situation to where it's it's not benefiting you. Okay. Um. So then we have the chaos card. It says a storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now. My child, you have nothing to fear. I am here to remind you that after the storm, the air is cleared and life will begin again even better than before. The silly thing is, if you refuse to take shelter, you will get soaked and you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you created the chaos, you will have to clean up clean it up but if others are the cause you must step out of it and wait out the storm you will be glad you did a good thing to say to yourself is no drama so whatever choice you need to make it's like something is attached to drama you get what i'm saying because the last thing it says a good thing to say to yourself is no drama so it's like why even put yourself in a situation to where you're going to be in drama it's, it's like Because I almost feel like the drama is unavoidable. But it's just the choices that you make and the boundaries that you set in the situation is what I got. Okay. So um, let me pull a blockage here to see what the blockage is. Okay. Because baby. What's the blockage here? Purpose. You see what I'm saying? I knew this shit was about to come out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The blockage is here. That whatever choice and decision this is, this is this has a lot to do with your path, like your purpose. Like 
there is something so divine and so destined that's happening right now and whatever is happening however it's unfolding it's trying to reveal certain things to you and it could be certain things about yourself certain things about another person certain things about a certain situation you get what i'm saying but whatever it is it's trying to make you see a bigger picture here and And it's crazy because some of you guys, because it says, I know what I'm here to do. So some of you guys know what you need to do, but it's like you're trying to choose a path that doesn't have the drama, but this path is going to lead to chaos because the choice that you make is, is it's like, it's going to be a beautiful disaster at first, but as the dust in the set as the as the dust clears the blessing will be it will it will come through like you will see you will see the blessing at all because the path that's being blocked right now is on your path to success or your purpose or what so have you okay give me five for what the situation is what's going on with the collective so what do we have here so the hermit came back out wow so we have the hermit and like I said in the first video, I feel like some of you guys are going through a very dark period or you guys are just forced to to really go within and find that inner light. I feel like you guys are also protected here. I did just see 1111. Hello. So you guys be careful and mindful of your thoughts because you are manifesting at this time. You guys don't want to accidentally manifest something that you did not intend to like it wasn't your intention. But I do feel like this hermit card is you very much isolating yourself and trying to protect your energy and in you trying to protect your energy. It's like you're trying to muster up the strength to be able to make some type of decision or to go in a in, in a certain direction now with this hermit card here i do feel like um with this hermit card here in the strength card i do feel like it's like your this is like i i don't know it's like your your strength is being tested like your inner strength or or it's like, because the hermit is someone who goes to find true love. So it's like, how bad do you really want something is what I'm getting. You get what I'm saying? This is what I'm getting. Like, with the chariot, talk about it. Because don't tell me all these major carnas is about to come out again. The last spread I pulled was all major carna, except for the last two. Okay. But I do see someone moving forward here or actually finding the strength to move forward. The Knight of Swords and then we have the Six of Wands. This is this actually is completely different energy from what was pulled. Um, I do feel like someone finally finding the strength to move forward. Or finally finding the strength to go ahead and have some type of communication. Communication be coming in for some of you guys from someone who's been very cold or distant from you. Um, someone could be feeling like they are at a at a less advantage or they're crippled because I just see two people here who are disabled. So some some someone could be feeling very disabled right now, not being able to communicate or fully express or fully go after something or it's it's something like that. And then the three of swords is here for some of you guys. Yesterday's energy, you guys are going through some type of breakup or a separation. Five of pen, five of pentacles here with the three of cups. This could be an end into a third party situation, definitely. Um the judgment card is here with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be breaking up a family. You get what I'm saying? Listen. Listen here. This is also someone choosing. Uh, because I want to be very clear when I say this. But they're choosing success unknowingly. You get what I'm saying? It's like you don't even understand the blessing that you're going to choose right now. And I feel like you're being guided too. Look at that. This person is reaching in, helping you come out of this hermit energy. You get what I'm saying? And that could be your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, just trying to help you come out of this energy, trying to help you come out of this dark period of feeling very lost. Um, a feeling, It's not even, you don't even feel lost. It's like, you know exactly what you want, but it's like feeling very stuck on how to go after it or, or just not feeling as confident because like I said, some of you guys could feel crippled or you guys could feel like disabled um in some type of way okay but 
with this straight card and the chariot and the and knight of swords this looks like beautiful energy someone's finally going to be feeling victorious and courageous or um it's like someone is finally going to be um yeah they're gonna be feeling like good to go in a certain direction and it's like it's like i feel like someone's also following their heart because that's what i just heard it's like somebody's finally finally following their heart and in them following a heart, it leads them to a path of abundance and success. Now, in the midst of the path to abundance and success, there may be some pain. There may be some sorrow because there may be certain things, situations, connections, per people that you may have to let go or distance yourself from. And this is why you're in the hermit energy, because you're starting to realize like not everybody is allowed to have access to you. And and in them not being able to have access to you, this is actually giving you the strength. Like that you 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 start to realize that you are giving your power away to certain people who was harnessing your power and using it to their own advantage, like trying to control you or manipulate you or something like that. Um and then look, the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is, is again reminding you protect, to protect your energy. I also feel like you have someone working behind the scenes for you. Close the door. You need water. I also feel like you have somebody working behind the scenes for you, protecting you. And this person is like blocking off all negative energy coming your way or they're trying to. You get what I'm saying? So... What do they need to know about the energy that's coming towards them? What do they need to know about the energy that's coming towards them? So we have the magician. This is something that you've been asking for, something that you manifested. Um, this also is bringing in a new beginning because the mag magician starts at one. I also feel like this is also Spirit's way of telling you that the sky is the limit. And me personally, I feel like I want to be the horizon. So it's like the sky is the limit because it's infinite, right? But I want to be what everyone else is looking at or comparing their life to or comparing their limits to. You get what I'm saying? I want to be that beautiful image. So understanding that you have the opportunity to create any type of horizon that you want to create. And it's nothing but endless opportunity, endless space. There is a tower moment here. Um, to the two of wands, you guys could be choosing a different path, going down a different path. You guys could be, uh, when it comes to work success or something like that, you guys are headed in another direction. When it comes to a commitment, you guys could be going through some type of breakup. But again, this leads to another, a new beginning. You guys could be getting an unexpected phone call, um, because of the two of wands here. So when someone could be giving you an unexpected phone call about, you could be receiving good news basically with this tower card. And this is like, this is the news that you needed because you're actually in a funk. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Swords with the Star. Yeah. So, um, what what else do they need to know? Let me shuffle these up. What else do they need to know with this Nine of Cups? Okay. You could have you could have um someone coming towards you. Or this is I do feel like this is something someone coming towards you. The Seven of Swords. Surprise meeting and invitation. You get what I'm saying? Someone could be coming towards you with a surprise gift. They could be coming towards you with a surprise conversation, like a phone call or something like that. The Nine of Pentacles is here. Um, someone is keeping something from you. It's like a secret. It's a secret here because it's the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords to the Nine of Cups. So it's like someone's holding back some type of communication or something like that. And then, then I shuffle this up and the tower is still at the bottom of the deck. So the tower is here. So this could be unexpected communication coming in for you guys this week. Um, within the next 24 to 48 hours. Give me one more. Thank you. And the Page of Swords. So, yes. Now, the Page of Swords. Now, like I said, someone could be feeling stuck. The Eight of Swords is here. The Seven of Swords to the Page of Swords. This is just the Eight of Swords. So, someone could be feeling very stuck. But someone could be coming in to give you a gift, too, after feeling stuck. Or, I'm telling you, somebody went through a breakup this week. This is clear. It's three of Swords. Four of Swords is here with the Lovers. The Will of Fortune. The Hangman. And, and and all this is basically saying is like it was time for you to make a decision that needed to be made with the star and judgment. And this is like it was it was it was time. It was time to make a decision that needs to be made because this cycle, it could not continue to keep repeating itself. Something something is going to be different the next time this comes around. Something is definitely going to be different. Five of Wands here. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. 
Okay, anyways, let me get back into the reading. So, um, with this magician and the Knight of Cups, I do feel like it's time for you to start manifesting. Um, I do feel like it could be a strong Gemini coming your way. I'm not gonna lie, it could just be um it could just be a very tricky energy coming your way. Said, break down the seven of swords. I don't want it. Break down the seven of swords. down the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here the high priestess wow i'm telling you someone's keeping a secret from you they're being very they're being they're being they're being very sneaky about something And this could be something that they're bringing you. Like, they could be offering you something. Break down this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Four of Swords. With the Death card, the Eight of Pentacles the sun someone someone could be coming to bring some type of clarity clarity about something ending like someone could be coming to tell you like you know what i i finally called it off or something like that and i just spoiled it <laughs> my bad i just spoiled it my bad oops um but someone could be coming to tell you like because it's the the death card the eight of pentacles and the sun so I, the will of fortune is here the will of fortune just stay at the bottom of the deck okay but someone could be coming to tell you that they got out of a situation or something like that or someone could be like withdrawing back their energy they got like give me one more for the four swords it's like before they come talk to you they have some things that they need to heal okay the ten of wands Yeah, the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This Eight of Pentacles is not going nowhere with the Sun. Some I, I do feel like someone is getting some type of good news because it's the Eight of Pentacles with the Sun. Um, some someone could be adding addition to the family. It, it is a, it is a page of Swords right here. But let's keep it kicking because this Ten of this Ten of Wands to the this is like someone coming in or expressing or apologizing about something that they said or did or how they've been acting and just telling you like you know I've been really going through a lot blah blah. blah. This is why X Y and Z. Um. Tell me about this. Uh, I mean, this nine of pentacles is here. Look, could be coming to tell you about some type of divorce or you guys could have been going through some type of argument. Now this person wants to come and apologize about some of the things that they said. Ace of Wands and they want a new beginning. Um, Something like that. But with this nine of pentacles here, this is why I'm telling you, I feel like someone's trying to keep it a secret that they're, they could be trying to keep it a secret that they're no longer in a relationship. You get what I'm saying with this nine of pentacles and this page, page of swords. It's like, they're going to tell you, but just, when they feel like telling you. You get what I'm saying? Break down this page of swords. This eight of cups. The eight of pentacles. So someone could be telling you that they walking away. And it's, someone, it's like someone's going to come tell you that they walking away. But before they do, they're going to take their time to heal and make sure everything is like all the I's or dots and the T's across or whatever. Something like that. But with this, eight of pen, with this eight of cups to the ace of pentacles, this person is coming to tell you like they want to invest in time or something like that. They want to invest in time. They want to start fresh. They want to start over. And this could have been out of a period of arguing, separation or whatever. Um, four of pentacles is here with the six of swords with the page of pentacles. And this is them wanting a new beginning to have a fresh start. Or this is someone moving forward, having a new beginning after leaving something behind. Going towards the two of cups, going towards happiness. Whatever... If you guys are recently getting out of a breakup or going through a breakup or a separation, you guys will be meeting someone new or you guys already have someone new. Could have been a third party, but um, you guys are going to be meeting someone new. And this person is going to be sent to you by the divine. Like the person that you are this connect, it's going to be as this person. I don't even know how to put this into words. It's the two of cups, the knight of cups, the justice. 
the four of wands the emperor like if you've been wondering whether or not you're going to have a successful love life the answer is yes you will because this person is going to come in and bring some type of balance to you that you haven't quite experienced before and understand that if you are going through a breakup or a separation you've been single for a while the person that you're going to run into has just gotten out of something and they're just looking for something that's more solid stable and secure and this is them actually finally healing releasing and letting go and doing a lot of emotional detaching from things that's no longer serving them okay so with that being said let me go ahead and pull best advice um let's pull one of these before i get into that Can I have an overall message for the collective? So we have new beginnings, okay? And look, this person is, is on a horse. They, they ride into the sunset. Step into your journey without fear. The time is now. Follow your instincts and have faith new, in the new beginnings. The road ahead is filled with excitement and joy. There is nothing to be afraid of. You are protected and led by a spirit guide. I told you your spirit divine somebody is helping you trying to pull you out of something and trying to show you that your life can be so much more at peace it can be so much better and i feel like you guys can be trying to weigh out your options here and what spirit is basically saying is like whatever you just went through was such was karma because look karma is here it says the cycles of birth and death action and reaction compromise our universe your situation arose from past car past karmic connection. The opportunities create good. This is the opportunity to create good karma is now a past life. All past life influences are working towards a final balance. Except what is so understand that if you guys are getting yourself out of something, or if you guys are breaking free from a cycle, or if you guys are um, really find yourself in your thoughts breaking free from some type of condition or pattern behavior whatsoever. You, however, this reading is resonating with you. Understand that this was a karmic lesson. And this was about um I don't know you had I don't know I don't know I don't want I don't want to go into that whatever this is, whatever it was about it says all past life influences are working towards a final balance and this was about finding balance or um creating it's like clearing up some type of karma within a foundation before you can actually move forward and have abundance in and stuff like that coming in but understand that all roads lead what did it say? It says, follow your instincts and have faith in the new beginnings. The road ahead is filled with excitement and joy. So I need you guys to know and understand that it's going to lead you to excitement and joy. Smooth soaring ahead. You can lead with authority and mystical power. You are blessed with innate courage, tenacity, and sophistication, but you are your greatest challenge. Refrain from self-criticism and doubt. Ultimate success is predestined. You get what I'm saying? Ultimate success is predestined. Regardless of what you're getting out of. You have no choice but to be fucking amazing, but to succeed, okay? Can I get two angel answers for the collective, please? That's advice. This is an opportunity. So you have opportunity here. You have to ask help from others. Be assertive. So you have an opportunity of a lifetime. You're looking to ask help from others. Turn to your spirit team. But be assertive. This is like listen to your own intuition and take your own. Look, if if you should let something go, let that shit go. Let it go. What are you waiting for? Because you have weight. Choose a new direction. It's like, what are you waiting for? If you're waiting for truth, you're waiting for clarity. You're wait No, stop it. It's be assertive. Take action. Say what the fuck you mean. Mean what you say and move forward. Look, no, this is a no. And then we have yes. Listen to your intuition. If you're looking for a sign, this sign is saying that you're going to have abundance. So stop worrying about how something is unfolding and understand that this shit is unfolding so your abundance and success can come in. This is an opportunity of a lifetime that's going to bring in so much wealth, success, all that. You look at the look at how she be in shower. You get what I'm saying? I'm about to go. I love you guys. Talk to you guys later.